Imagine a world where fast internet is as easy to get as electricity. This idea is quickly becoming true because of SpaceX's bold Starlink project. With the promise of very fast gigabit speeds, Starlink is set to change the way we live, work, and talk to each other. Let's explore how this revolutionary technology will transform our daily lives and reshape what the future looks like. Starlink Speed Boost Proposal SpaceX's Starlink, a company owned by Elon Musk that provides internet through satellites, has recently requested permission to make updates that could significantly speed up their service. SpaceX operates a satellite internet service known as Starlink, aimed at delivering internet access to areas where it's difficult to have a stable connection. On October 11th, SpaceX made a formal request to the Federal Communications Commission FCC, to modify how its satellites function in space. The company believes that with some tweaks in the satellite movements and operations, they could potentially boost the download speeds to nearly 10 times faster than current rates. At the moment, Starlink already supplies internet to numerous users, but SpaceX is looking to enhance this further. The proposed changes would enable internet speeds to soar up to 1 gigabit per second, which is incredibly fast. This improvement would also reduce the latency often experienced with satellite internet, making activities like browsing the web or streaming videos much faster. SpaceX's ultimate aim with these upgrades is to provide quick and dependable internet service globally. They hope to make sure that people in remote locations who currently lack good internet will be able to connect easily. If the FCC greenlights these modifications, it could improve internet access for millions of users across the US and around the world. SpaceX has suggested lowering the orbits of some satellites to better its Starlink service. Specifically, the company proposes lowering satellites from altitudes of 525 km, 530 km, and 535 km to 480 km, 485 km, and 475 km. These adjustments would maintain the same satellite count but allow them to operate more efficiently. By doing so, SpaceX plans to increase the number of orbital planes, which are the paths that satellites trace around the Earth, and the number of satellites in each orbital plane. SpaceX Satellite Network Updates Adjustments to satellite orbits are set to enhance the overall performance of SpaceX's satellite network, making it quicker and more dependable for users. Despite these modifications, SpaceX intends to maintain the total number of their second generation, Gen 2 satellites, at or below 29,918. To date, the Federal Communications Commission FCC, has approved 7,500 of these Gen 2 satellites, which allows SpaceX to initiate launches. But the company plans to incrementally increase this number as it expands its global internet services. Back in 2016, when SpaceX was first outlining its satellite internet system, then unnamed, they promised eventual ultra-fast internet speeds of up to 1 gigabit per second for every user. They shared these details with the FCC, stating their aim to provide high-speed internet to consumers and businesses worldwide. At that time, SpaceX noted that achieving these speeds would require time to fully optimize the system. Fast forward to 2024 and SpaceX's satellite internet service, now known as Starlink, is actively serving numerous customers. However, the current speeds, while fast, do not yet match the 1 gigabit per second initially promised. According to Starlink's website, most users currently experience download speeds ranging from 25 to 220 megabits per second, with many achieving over 100 megabits per second. Speedy, but not the gigabit level hoped for, Upload speeds, which allow users to send data such as uploading files or making video calls, typically vary between 5 and 20 megabits per second. Starlink's latency, the delay in data transmission, generally sits between 25 to 60 milliseconds for most land-based users. In some extremely remote areas, where obtaining a stable signal is more challenging, latency can exceed 100 milliseconds. While Starlink is delivering satisfactory internet speeds, especially to those in remote locations where other services are scarce or unavailable, it has not yet reached the gigabit per second speeds first discussed in 2016. SpaceX continues to refine its technology and with the proposed changes to the FCC, hopes to soon achieve those original speed targets. 
Starlink satellite adjustments. SpaceX is enhancing its Starlink service by requesting the FCC to allow adjustments in satellite elevation angles from 25 to 20 degrees for better connectivity with ground stations. This would strengthen internet links by enabling satellites to communicate longer with stations as they orbit. Additionally, SpaceX plans to upgrade its second-generation satellites with high-gain antennas and advanced technology for faster and more reliable internet, particularly for rural areas. They also seek to use their radio frequency spectrum more flexibly to serve both mobile and home internet needs, accommodating growing demand for stable and high-speed internet across various regions. Increased flexibility for SpaceX. This change would not necessitate any adjustments to the technical aspects of their existing license or the operational details of their satellites. It's essentially a minor tweak that would allow them more leeway to utilize their system in the most effective manner possible. SpaceX indicates that such adjustments are in line with the FCC's current regulations and would not impact how their satellites function. This increased flexibility would enable SpaceX to better cater to the diverse needs of various user groups, including regular consumers, businesses, and government agencies. Whether it's providing mobile internet for users on the move or stable internet connections at home, the ability to use these frequency bands for multiple purposes would assist SpaceX in delivering faster and more reliable service to a broader customer base. FCC hesitates on SpaceX requests. The FCC might not readily approve SpaceX's requests. In the past, various entities such as other satellite operators and mobile carriers have contested some of SpaceX's proposals. Additionally, the FCC has shown caution regarding some claims made by SpaceX, indicating they don't always fully endorse the company's plans. For instance, major mobile operators AT&T and Verizon have recently urged the FCC to dismiss part of SpaceX's initiative to collaborate with T-Mobile to provide cellular services. This part of SpaceX's request involved asking the FCC for exemptions from specific regulations. AT&T and Verizon challenge SpaceX. Particularly concerning are issues related to something known as out-of-band emissions. These emissions are signals that inadvertently extend into frequency ranges reserved for other services. AT&T and Verizon have argued that allowing SpaceX to circumvent these rules could lead to interference and disrupt the reliability of existing mobile networks. This isn't the first instance of FCC caution towards SpaceX's proposals. For example, in March, the FCC rejected a SpaceX application that would have permitted them to use certain frequency bands for mobile services. The FCC's concern was that these frequency bands might disrupt other users, leading to their decision to deny the request. Because of this, SpaceX must now engage in a rulemaking process with the FCC, which will more thoroughly examine whether these frequency bands can support Starlink's system without affecting other services already using them. While SpaceX has ambitious plans to enhance their satellite internet and launch new services, they continue to encounter regulatory hurdles. In 2022, the FCC expressed doubts about Starlink's ability to deliver consistent service, which influenced their decision to deny Starlink's application for $880 million in federal funding, a significant financial setback for the project. FCC denies SpaceX funding. The program aimed to extend broadband internet access to rural and underserved areas. But the FCC's decision was influenced by uncertainties about Starlink's ability to consistently meet the program's benchmarks, which include download speeds of 100 megabits per second and upload speeds of 20 megabits per second. The FCC raised concerns about Starlink's capability to provide low latency service which is the delay in data transmission between a user's device and the satellite. They noted that Starlink, being a relatively new and evolving technology, had not yet demonstrated its capacity to manage the substantial internet traffic needed. They also highlighted Starlink's capacity limitations, indicating that the system might lack the necessary power to deliver fast and reliable service simultaneously to many users. Another concern was that Starlink speeds were decreasing, and the initial cost for users to start using the service was high, around $600 upfront for equipment. Although this cost has been reduced, it was still a significant issue for the FCC. 
as the funding's purpose was to make internet access more affordable and widely available. After the funding was denied, SpaceX and its CEO Elon Musk criticized the decision, arguing that Starlink could achieve the required speeds in service. However, the FCC maintained their stance, and the grant money was allocated to other companies that they believed could better fulfill the requirements. There's ongoing uncertainty about whether the FCC will approve any of SpaceX's new requests, given the historical disagreements between SpaceX and the agency. If you've made it this far, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and for more engaging content, check out the recommended video appearing on your screen right now. Thanks for watching.